welcome back. We're at Exodus 16, verses 19 to 21, and here's our reading for today. Moses said to them, Let no man leave any of it until morning. But they did not listen to Moses, and some left part of it until morning, and it bred worms and became foul, and Moses was angry with them. They gathered it morning by morning, every man as much as he should eat, but when the sun grew hot, it would melt. Okay, so here you have that human tendency we mentioned yesterday. Uh, I'm going to get a little extra here because, you know, we don't know uh, for sure when the next thing is we're going to get our next food. And so this is something that for 40 years God's going to do some training. And again, they don't know it's 40 years. They haven't even done their rebellion that's going to make it 40 years yet. But there's a lesson here, a very important lesson. Daily we must gather what is needed. Daily you need a spiritual help. Every day, you know, you can't stop breathing for 24 hours. We need spiritual sustenance, you know, all the time, 24 hours, 24-7, right? And so God is offering us, start your day this way, get your, get your food, sustenance, and I'll give it to you. God will do the same for us, I believe, spiritually. Now, here you notice they had to get out there early to get it. If they left it too long, we're told right here in the text, it would be destroyed. The stuff is basically self-destructing. It would be spoiled by bugs that would arise in it after a certain point in time. So yeah, every morning you've got to get up and get it and get at it and, and get with it or else, you know, you go hungry that day. So God has a plan for us, but it revolves also around us doing the gathering, us doing the preparing, and us uh, go ahead and eat it. Now, there were some people that didn't follow God's instructions, and they tried out some variations on God's plan, and it didn't work. It, the manna bred worms and, and was ruined. And Moses was quite unhappy, because why? Because they, they had enough insight. They had enough insight. They should have just done what God said. Friends, you and I need to learn to gather according to God's instructions. Did you hear me? Gather according to God's instructions. Go to the Word every morning. Be praying and speaking to God every morning. See what He has for you as you go work your way through the Bible morning by morning. And He will feed you. He will feed you and bless you. Take a look at this here. This Bible has uh, comes with two ribbons. And uh, so you could actually like use that. If your Bible happens to have two ribbons, and most many of them do, use those two ribbons or put in two bookmarks and read a portion from the Old Testament every morning and read a portion from the New Testament every morning. If you're diligent, you will go through the whole Bible. You can go through the whole Bible in just a matter of weeks or at least go through it all in a year. And you will be blessed. You'll be so blessed. You'll be so glad you did that. So gather your manna morning by morning. God is uh, going to dish it out for you and get it before it melts and goes away. Get it before the day gets too hot with all the nonsense of the day that doesn't feed you spiritually. Hey, see you back again tomorrow morning.